All right, a new study says the number of children needing help for mental health problem, problems uh, is rising nationwide. Researchers studied more than four million pediatric hospitalizations between 2009 and 2019 and found that mental health hospitaliz hospitalizations increased by almost 26%. Also, there was an increase in suicidal behavior among children. The study found self-injury and suicidal thoughts rose from 31% in 2009 to 64% in 2019. Researchers say a national shortage of mental health professionals, geographic disparities, and a lack of school resources contributed to this surge. This is troubling. It is. Uh, yeah, this is news that a it parent is. does not want to hear, that when you... Uh, mm -hmm. have them go to school. Uh, they don't have the resources to talk to someone. I remember when I was in school, we had uh, a, a counselor that mm -hmm. we could go to. And of course, I went to a small school, but still, uh, they had resources there. And this was a small private Catholic school, mm -hmm. 250 people. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember I did a story here in Michigan, right after the Oxford High School shooting, yeah. where we found out that some Michigan schools, uh, they have maybe one counselor for mm -hmm. every hundred or so, mm -hmm. you know, kids, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe a few hundred kids, mm -hmm. uh, and some of their counselors are not readily available. Yeah. And so when you have what's now become a culture of, you know, cyberbullying, mm -hmm. and then, you know, kids, they still bully each other, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and they can't get the help that they need, yeah. along with coming back from the pandemic and being, um, you know, kind of have everything kind of come back to them all at once. Yeah. Um, and to hear that the, the number of suicides just in a 10 year period has jumped, who knows what's gonna happen when over you, the next 10 years. When you think about this generation, uh, Gen Z's, millennials, especially maybe millennials on the younger side, they were born into you know, the technology, the social media. So you've got that with um, you know, the, the, the bullying, the mm -hmm. cyber bullying. And then you maybe have some unfortunate uh, events at home. You're dealing with challenges at home with, with parents who might not be as mentally and emotionally stable as right. they need to be to be effective parents. And then these school shootings, you can't even go to school and feel safe, whether it's an elementary school like Sandy Hook or a college, university like Michigan State University, I mean, and all in between. And so these children are just dealing with so much, uh, so much uh, you know, information is, they're bombarded with it because they have access to so much. So I think it's, it's, it's sensory overload and then you factor in all these other issues. It is hard, it is hard. And we are gonna have to, as adults, as responsible adults, uh, who, who wants to secure the future for our children, we're gonna have to continue to tap in and figure out, there's no choice, we don't have a choice, right. figure it out. For for their well-being. I think it begins with understanding that for our people who are our congressional leaders, the school that you were attending mm -hmm. when you were young is not the same day no. and not the same school that a lot of these no. uh, Gen Zers and That's younger right. are attending right now. That's right. That's right.